Welcome to the Storytime family. Today we're going to be reading Dogfish by Jillian Shields. This used to be our favorite book. I used to read this to my six-year-old all the time. And he loved the pictures in the books. Maybe you might like it too. Shall we get started? Yay! Dogfish. Everyone has a dog, except me. Hmm. Why doesn't he have a dog, you think? Everyone has a dog. Look, this guy, this little boy. Look at this little... Oh, look at this one. He's chasing a squirrel. And how many dogs can you find on this page? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dogs? So I say to my mom, I need a dog. But my mom says, why do you need a dog when you have such a nice goldfish? She always says things like that. Can you tell me what's in the kitchen? And how many crayons can you find on the page? I explained that goldfish cannot catch sticks or go for walks or sit by your feet and they never wag their tails. That is why I say, looking at her with my hypnotizing eyes, I need a dog. But my mom says, we'll see, which really means no. I look sad. My goldfish looks sad too. These are our sad looks. Is this how you look like when you're sad? So my mom says in her kind and caring voice, but honey, how could we have a dog when we live on the 44th floor? I think for a bit and say, 444 stairs would be very good exercise for a dog. 44 floors sounds very high. Do you think that's very high? Do you think you could see those little people down there if you're on the 44th floor? Then she says in her soothing and explaining voice, But sweetheart, wouldn't a dog be bored all day when I'm at work and you're in school? So I think a bit more and say, he could read the paper. And my mom looks irritated, but sorrowful, like this. Does your mom give you that look? Yeah, I know that look. Then she says, in her, this is really the end of a matter voice. Now, darling, how could we possibly afford to feed a great, big, hungry dog? But I say, as quick as a fish. I don't want a big, hungry dog. I want a very, very, very small dog that eats hardly anything at all. Just scraps. Peas. Do you like peas? Do you eat your peas? Because you should. Then we all look how people look when the situation is hopeless, like this. After a bit, my mom says, well, if you can't have what you want, you could try to want what you have. She always says things like that. So then I look at my goldfish and my goldfish looks at me with his hypnotizing eyes. And I think, maybe, just maybe, So I teach my goldfish to catch a teeny tiny stick. It takes practice. It is a tough job. 
Sometimes I think it is a waste of time. But we get there in the end and it feels so good. And this is how good it feels. Woohoo! Isn't it cool when you learn a new trick? Like how to ride a bike or how to throw a ball or kick a ball. It's awesome, isn't it? I take my goldfish for walks and he takes me for walks. We climb the 444 stairs together. When we are out, he reads the paper. He never gets bored. Do you read the paper? Does your mommy or daddy read the paper? Or maybe, does your dog read the paper? He eats hardly anything at all, just scraps. In the evening, he sits by my feet and I tell him stuff. He's a great listener. He can even wag his tail to say, I love you. He's not just a goldfish. He's a dogfish. So now, when I see everyone with their ordinary old dogs, I say, why would I need a dog when I have the best goldfish in the world? I like saying that. And I look, and my mom looks, and my goldfish looks utterly, totally, blissfully happy, just like this. Pets are the best, aren't they? Do you have a pet? Tell us about your pet. D.N. And that was Dogfish by Jillian Shields. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. See you again soon. Take care. Bye.